Hey, today on The Cool Against, we're going to be talking about possibly the greatest tweet ever from the Portland Timbers Absolutely. social media team. Absolutely. <laughs> Plus, we got players watching us and shouting us out on Instagram. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of dope. <laughs> okay, and we're also going to be joined by Ike Opara of Minnesota United. That's right, two-time defender of the year. Let's see if he can keep up with me. Okay, so all <laughs> this and more today on The Cool Against. Yeah, baby! Psh, hit the crash. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a trained drummer. Uh, that, I was like, what the hell is he talking about? I didn't know that was a drumming reference. Uh, yeah, that's right. There's a hi hat. There's a crash. Anyway, uh, all right. This all right. Is <laughs> Welcome to the Cooligans, your favorite drum and stru- instructional videos. It's like Alexis doesn't know how to read music or read <laughs> regular yeah. words, but I know how to listen to music. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, my name is Christian Polanco. Yeah, that's right. I'm Alexis Guerrero. All right. We are the Cooligans. We're your favorite stand-up comedians that host the funniest soccer show that you have ever seen. Yeah, we better be. Dog. Okay. Because we're right. not just that. We're a lot. We're a lot. We're a lot of things. We're a drum instructional show. (laughs) We sometimes talk about soccer. We also happen to be the gulliest soccer show in the world. That's right. Uh, And yeah, I'm in a I'm in a drumming mood because I saw Tool not too long ago, and I'm still you know Danny Carey. All right, you know who I'm talking about. Big fan. I love that song about stuff <laughs> they sing. Uh, but yes, uh, we're excited to. It's gonna be a hot show today. It's be crazy because uh, now we have players, we have uh, we have boxes. We got. Bo- I mean, that's pretty much the whole show. <laughs> you told them everything that's gonna happen. Oh else. no! I've, the, it's just like the trailer that gives everything <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Nobody is gonna wa- want to watch the movie anymore. Well, there's also banter. <laughs> Get ready for banter. No, but uh, yeah, a couple of announcements that we have to make because we're going to right after this taping. We're we're literally zooming straight to the airport. Zoom in. Zoom. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole new, it's a car share service you don't know about. Okay. It's only for us celebrities. It's actually very inexpensive. No, no but we're going to Florida for uh, the, uh, we're going to, we're flying to IMG Academy for the ICC Futures. This is going to be great. This is going to be pretty crazy. Yeah. So this is a, uh, this is a, a youth tournament uh, with teams from all over the world. And they have, they, they, uh, you know, it's, it's like huge teams. The Manchester yeah, Cities, the yeah, PSGs. Juventus, you got uh, Atletico Madrid. You got Manchester City, who you mentioned. Uh, you got Paris Saint-Germain. Okay. Wow. I heard of them. All right. right. I can't say their name correctly, but I heard of them. Right. I hope one of them got like a 6XL kids jersey for me to wear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're Y'all go- fat shaming these kids? <laughs> what goes on in these academies? What man? are you doing, France? Yeah, <laughs> damn. You need to cut it out. All you eat is butter and cream, my guy. <laughs> How are you so thin? <laughs> uh, no, so we're excited. Uh, Just a French kid <laughs> crushing cigarettes in between the games. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna lose our opportunity to host this thing, Alexis. Just ripping cigs, dude. <laughs> no, uh, so it's a, a big tournament. We're excited to be there. We're gonna be there for five days. So if anyone, if you're in uh, Bradenton, Florida, uh, com- all of you in Bradenton, <laughs> Florida. I've se- I've seen the stats. I've seen <laughs> the <Yeah>. ratings. <laughs> Huge fan base out in Bradenton, Florida. Yeah, we big time in Bradenton. <laughs> so come through uh, the to see the tournament. Say hello to us. It'll it's be- not far from Tampa. Come through. Say what's up. It's at the IMG Academy. Yeah, it's gonna be great. All right. So uh, I always knew I'd go to the IMG Academy. You know what I mean? <laughs> any any academy. Yeah. Any academy. I mean, no. I mean specifically like a world renowned soccer. Academy. I knew one That's day I'd be there look. doing what I do best, which is yelling at children <laughs> in all microphones. Stop. Come through. We made it. It's, yeah. just, <laughs> it's such a good feeling. To- Mama, you proud of me yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a scholarship, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, all right, so we also have a couple of uh, before we start the show, we got a couple of boxes that people uh, sent to us. That, That's right. Uh, you know, some of the- one of them looks better than the other. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so okay, I'll open this one. This is a. It's the- already open. What do you mean? <laughs> open it. I'll show you this one. Uh, yeah, this box is pretty banged up. Uh, <laughs> it made it here somehow. Oh, wait, let, let me do mine first. Hold I was on. gonna say, you know, have you ever watched The Wire when they say "step on the package"? That's not what they mean, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but these are the type of packages that packages arrive in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what of I'm course. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> okay. That so, comes out of a secret compartment of an Ultima. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, all right. Th- I don't know who this is from. There's like liquid spilt on it. So, I don't know what happened to this package, but it's really, it's, it's banged up. It, it We're went, sorry. It went through a lot to get to us. So, uh, okay. I, I probably don't have time. There is liquid spilled on it. <laughs> okay. You can see it. Look, I'm not even going to question the liquid. I'm just going to make sure to wash my hands after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says, my guys, uh, congrats on landing the TV show. It's made the unboxing segment so much easier to appreciate, which makes sense because it was normally over audio. I, I argue. <laughs> I think it's great to hear us open up gifts. Uh, huge fan of the pot for years now. Uh, thanks for adding a bit of gully to the soccer landscape in this Hell country. Yeah. All right, thank you. So this is from Nick uh, Sint. Uh, thank you. He's a great dude. A gully Squad member. Uh, great dude. So thank you. From Minneapolis City, ah, SC. So. Who we've been, we've been uh, representing since day one. We That's love Minneapolis. Oh, we got jerseys. Oh, we got shirts. Ooh. We got one shirt. Oh, this is dope. This is a uh, like a foosball players. It says Stegman Soccer Club in the back. That's pretty, pretty dope. Pretty cool. I guess this is mine since they don't make the jersey in my size. Very cool. <laughs> this might, this, this might is a yours. 2XL. Oh no, no. This is, oh, no, this is mine. Here, this is a medium. Oh, this is a kit. Stegman's old boys on the back. Shouts Look to you. Look at this. This is a dope kit. Thank you, Stegman. We're going to throw you, this in the wash because whatever spilled on it got on here. But... <laughs> It's all good. Yeah, this is a little has a quite a, a little bit of a hue on it as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice patina. <laughs> Let's Thank open this up. Shouts uh, to uh, Nick Stint. That's dope. Uh, so we don't know who this is. Oh, okay. Now they're both from Minneapolis. Okay. Uh, yeah, we getting lots of packages from Minnesota. Okay. I, what a coincidence. Honestly, we didn't know what was in these boxes. We had no idea. And we have Michael Parra on the show from Minnesota United. This is this incredibly- is all Minnesota, <laughs> and you and I are wearing all Pele stuff. What? Oh my God! All this stuff is matching. <laughs> all right here, you take a look at this one. I think this was. Oh, this is two XL. Here we go, baby. Oh, the, a tie dye talisman. Thank you so much, bro. Is- you ever see tie dye in two XL, my guy? I'm gonna look like <laughs> a package of Skittles coming at you, dog. <laughs> look at this. This is cool. How fire is this? All right, we need to start smoking weed on this show. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's legal to a certain weight. <laughs> Yo, shouts to talisman, man. This stuff is. Talisman caps. Stone box. <laughs> Dope. All right. People are going to start to think I'm the one who stepped on the package. <laughs> so shouts th- to Talisman. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for all that stuff. Talisman uh, also, shouts to them for the uh, really cool uh, bruised banana hat. That's that right. Got. That's, right. We have, and we have the, the our Cooligans hat is also a Talisman cap. That's right. So, Wait, hold on a second. Which you do can... I happen to have it with me? Yes, I do. <laughs> Boom. Uh-huh. All right. So uh, the other Merch, thing. Merch, baby. <laughs> wanted to shout out. Uh, we have. Um, so the other day I was on Instagram. Were you? Ever? <laughs> This? <laughs> so, one, so the other day, wonderful website, um, <laughs> Mickey Rooney over here. <laughs> on Instagram, and I see we get tagged in a, uh, an Instagram story, and you're like, "Not again! Oh boy, this is not my baby!" <laughs> <laughs> Stop it with the accusations, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> right? We know what you're up to, <laughs> Sheila. We ain't getting paid like that. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> you can't have both of our babies in one baby. <laughs> it don't make sense. It's, uh, I don't know science well, but I'm pretty <laughs> right. sure that's not how it works. No, we. <laughs> we, got, uh, we got tagged uh, by Georgie Mahalovich. I, that's not our baby, Georgie. <laughs> but no, Georgie Mahalovich watching our show. And he just gave us a little wave. A little wave. We're, we're waving, waving right back, back to you, at Georgie. You, buddy. Uh, so- it there you go. Right there. Thank you, Georgie, for watching the show. Really cool that players. Imagine he's watching right now. I, mean, I hope so. Oh, Ge- and he's like, whoa. He plays for the Chicago Fire. <laughs> That's uh, right. He also plays for the U.S. Men's National Team, and he was. And we were talking about the Chicago Fire last week. The Chicago Fire. The That's chi- right. The chi- <laughs> he hates the way I say Chicago, but that's fine. Uh- <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> you say it like an uncle. He's like, where are you going to college? Eh? You going to Chicago? I could have gone. I could have gone. <laughs> anyway, thank you, George Mahalovich, for watching the show. Shouts to you, George. And, uh, and shouting us out. Very, very cool. We we're not. We need y- to change the name of Chicago to start with a D and a C. Just like Georgia, you don't pronounce the D. We'll do the same thing for Chicago, just out of respect to the dude who's watching. Shouts to you. Wow. <laughs> I didn't, it didn't make sense. It's so, super unnecessary. Well, welcome to the show, Christian. We just yelled at a woman named Sheila that doesn't exist for five minutes. I got a shirt that's got a weird stain on it. <laughs> Welcome to the it's show. Called, it's called tie dye. That's not what <laughs> That's it's the other one. <laughs> uh, all right, we have a lot to talk about today, so we'll be back with more right after this, guys. Hello, 
Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, baby. Uh, we have to talk about this uh, story that is uh, is definitely... Is this the gulliest soccer player in the history? I mean, I, I don't know about uh, gully. You see... We, he over gully. I think, I think we have a different definition of what is gully. Like, you you just... If somebody commits a crime, you're like, well, that's a very gully <laughs> thing you gully. did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I usually like... You're like, let's find a positive spin for this? Like, things that are like, uh, you know, ratchet... Keeping it real. This is both of those things. Ke- well, he nah, kept keeping it real. Fake. He kept the real thing. <laughs> to the point where it's not illegal. I think the fact that he got me, away with it. I think the fact that he got away with it four times. Yeah, it's uh he Let's d- talk about it because he duped of, a couple people. Yeah, yes. the guy's name is Bernie Overhagen. Bernie Overhagen, uh, and who is uh, a, a player who, who Allegedly. <laughs> we, yeah, we we have to <laughs> leave it at that. So he's a player, he signed for uh, a team Cape Town City FC. So this no, is No, but what, first he signed for Tirishbol, which yes. was the that was the club, the photo you just saw. The photo yeah, but no Tirishbol, that's his first contract. The the photo you just saw was for Cape Town. So that was the, oh, okay. the that was the tweet. So that was this is why it, it kind of started the path of of like people starting to be like, yo, what's up what's with this up, guy? What's up with my man? Because you know, like <laughs> transfer market, right? If you go to transfer market, like they'll show you where a player's been and whatnot. If you look at his, it's got to be like question marks everywhere. Because <laughs> first, he signed his first contract with a club called Tiraspol, which I believe I forget what country that is. Uh, d- I be- Denmark. No, no, no. I don't think it's Denmark. Oh, he's he's Danish. Yeah, he's Danish. He's yeah. now playing in Denmark. But here's what happened: signs for Tiraspol, first professional contract, gets let go of a month later. That club has completely washed all mention of him from their website, right? Yeah. You think that's probably not a good deal, but that's cool because then he gets a chance at Cape Town, right? Mm -hmm. Cape Town FC in South Africa. That's their top flight, right? Big deal. Month later, gone. Yeah. No mention of him on the website. (laughs) Nothing. (laughs) Tweets deleted the whole nine. You think, well, that's the end of it for him. Nah, son. He finds a way to get to Chile to their top flight. Mm -hmm. Aldax Italiano signs for them. Also, never touches the field, never makes nothing, <laughs> then he's gone. Doesn't work out. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. Right? You know, this, you know, sometimes you just need to get a leg up. You know what I mean? Someone why needs to give they, you a chance. Why are they out for me? Right? You know? <laughs> I'm trying my best. It's not me. It's them. All three of them? <laughs> yes, I know. Right? But it doesn't end there because then he gets to go from there. This is all like in the span of like four months, by the way. Yeah. The, I mean, my man is freaking flying miles alone. It's great. <laughs> Crushing it. My man goes to... Uh, the, the last one, which is Viborg. Yeah. So now he's at Viborg, this is, right? This is the Danish club, yeah. Trains once, and they're like, I don't think my dude's ever played <laughs> soccer before in his life. <laughs> Dead ass. I mean, I, I've been, I've seen a lot of soccer players, and this dude doesn't seem like he knows soccer. <laughs> I don't think he's seen soccer players before, right? <laughs> so he, all of a sudden, they're like, yo, I, he's going to have to go play with the reserves. Sure. And the reserves are like, yo, who's this <laughs> trash ass player you sent us? Right? Yeah, even the kids, the U7s yeah. are like, I don't think he know I, I'm better than this yeah. man. I also I don't think he knows like how to draw or color in the lines. My man is just all over the place. So he gets put in the reserves, they're trying to figure out what's going on. At the same time, a reporter starts looking into his past, right? And that's never a good sign for my man, right? This is when he realized he had overgullied. Yeah. Right? Well, actually, it gets a little bit gully. <laughs> Next, right? They realize he had never played anywhere. The reason he's going from team to team is because an agent for the Stellar Group, which is huge. Yeah. The Stellar Group is one of the most massive soccer agencies in the world. Yeah. Huge names. Gareth Bale. I think Ronaldo at one point uh, was like just a huge name. Stellar Group calls and says, yo, we got a player. You're like, I'll sign him. And that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Except. <laughs> the agent was fake. Never worked for Stellar Group. They got catfish. Yo, I think my man was just on the phone himself. Like, yo, this is what up. It's it's Steve from Stellar Group. I got a player oh, for last you. Last name? I don't got one. <laughs> I don't need one. I'm like, share. <laughs> I work but for the Stellar Group. But it's Steve. Yeah, <laughs> Steve. A very original name. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Uh, my name is Steve, uh, big time agent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop asking questions. Middle name, totally real. <laughs> totally real, big time agent. <laughs> so, uh, I also like, he's like, he's probably like, tuk-a, tuk-a, tuk-a. I'm in a helicopter. Can't talk to Saw my player. Land me at that McDonald's. <laughs> but the fact that this worked is, I mean, it raised four up, times. Four times, especially. And, and But it didn't work in the same country, right? So they had to be like, oh, we need another. Well, uh, that's what you do, right? You got to switch up the victim. You yeah. can't just go next door. Yeah. You got to, yeah. <laughs> You got to go to another country. Exactly. So also it, Chile. No one would have thought to go to Chile, right? A hack goes to Argentina. 
right? Sure. He's like, no, only, what's only, that? Only a uh, professional Ocean's <laughs> Eleven type yes, criminal. Yes. <laughs> right? Now we're on the same page here. Now we're thinking like them, you know? Right? My man was like, should we call Uruguay? And they're like, you've gone too far. <laughs> Uruguay, come on. But it, it You really, go to Chile. I, call the belt. It, it really <laughs> shows how much uh, like cluelessness there is in this, inter especially in the international transfer market. Yeah. Where nobody knows, they could be some uh, kid. Yeah, like it could be a kid in, in a, a small country or whatever. But there's not been a video of this guy playing soccer. It, anywhere. it was just no somebody like, "Yo, my homie, he real good at yeah. soccer. Trust me." Yeah, <laughs> no, <Nah, laughs> that's it. No, nah, man, I got this kid. You need him. So whatever. What? Yeah. Dotted line signed. We good. He'll be there. Actually, he's right there right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the guy outside on the phone. <laughs> sign, yeah, sign him. Yeah, no, 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 he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. Yeah, this reminded me of this guy when we were at a, I was at New York Comedy Club. This guy walked in with his hoodie up, right? And remember those hoodies that you would zip up all oh, the yeah, way, all face. the way yeah, to the yeah, top? Yeah, it face. was all stars, right? And he had it zipped up as high as it could go to his, it had just sunglasses. And he was like, kind of like chewing on the zipper. And he was like, what's up, what's up, what's up? He walks in the green room. We're all like, yeah, man, what's up? He's like, ah, uh, when am I up? And we're like, who are you? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, what's up, man? I'm Mr. New Jersey. This is real. 100% oh real. You, I don't know if you want to bleep that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> also, this is quite standard in the yeah, comedy yeah. Also, community. You'll meet plenty of people that are just like, yeah. yo, why? You got a real name. Just use it. <laughs> nah, man. Also, walking in with a bedazzled star hoodie and call yourself yeah, Mr. New yeah. Jersey, we're like, it fits. Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, I'm up. I'm supposed to get up. My lawyer just called. It's a true story. He goes, my lawyer just called. And I'm like, who's what, your lawyer? No, we don't have lawyers. We don't need a lawyer. He goes, no, no, no. They, who's the booker? Just point me out the booker, and I'll, and I'll tell them. My yeah. lawyer, my lawyer, I, I got to get up. He's in the audience. I produce a lot of movies. And we're like, dude, okay, the booker's not here. We don't know what to do. He walks outside. He's having an argument with someone, yada, yada, yada. He comes back. He's like, now nah, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. And I'm like, dude. I don't know who you are. And he walked in. He says to somebody, he goes, yo, you want to get drinks later? And the guy goes, yeah. So that when he leaves, I said to the guy, I'm like, you know him? He goes, no. <laughs> like, he just said, yeah, to get drinks to some guy who calls himself Mr. New Jersey. He's like, I don't know. He seemed cool. What's wrong with you? The guy leaves. He's not going to get up. So uh, Harris uh, Greenbaum walks Harris in. Greenbaum, yeah. And he goes, hey, did you guys see Mr. New Jersey? And we're like, are you part of the gag? And he goes, no, no. He was at Gotham. You know, that same gag worked. He did five minutes at Gotham. Oh, Gotham. my God. It worked. This is the entertainment <laughs> industry that we're in. This yeah. Is, I think this how we got this job. <laughs> yeah, we walked into football. Like, no, 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 my lawyer's outside. Yeah, he works for the Stellar Group. Turn the cameras yeah, on. No, we're we're good. Good. Right. I'm gonna swear a bunch. <laughs> Send me gifts. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Right. So, uh, this is why I love having a TV show for moments like this where we can. Where what, did our direct deposit just hit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I do this uh, out of the goodness of my own heart. <laughs> okay, pay me double then. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, we can, we can, when we're like in uh, production meetings and, right. and we have production meetings, <laughs> trust me. Wait, uh, <laughs> I must have missed these. <laughs> but, Oops. <laughs> but we, we can be like, yo. We need to talk about this. This is important to us, and this is important to the culture of soccer. And recently, the Portland Timbers. Actually, we start with Netflix. Netflix, a uh, lovely service. Uh, I mean, football TV is a little bit better, but uh, you I know. completely agree. Football TV, the place to be. <laughs> right, <laughs> and it rhymes too. Yeah. <laughs> football TV, the place to be. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna release a 1980s <laughs> rap song about it. Uh, Netflix the cats put, out of the bag. <laughs> uh, Netflix put out a a tweet basically saying, uh, you know. What um, the, the the sort of the theme that's been going on on Twitter is like what what's the thing that you can say during sex and, and a, a, another thing right we at, did one for watching cooligans uh, yes right we at, got some a lot of people screaming yeah baby uh, yeah so a lot of fun love you thank you for that right. uh, but Netflix did one <laughs> for uh, what can you what can you do uh, as a social what can you tweet as a social media admin and also say during sex right so all these different companies I mean the synergy was incredible right because it was, a, it was like a, it was like a collab with every other major corporate. <laughs> Corporation in the world. <laughs> the only one I saw that went like too far was uh, Mr. Peanut. Oh, what did Mr. Said, Peanut do? Hold these nuts. And we were like, hey! <laughs> hey, Mr. Peanut. Wow! <laughs> Bold, wow. I must say. Read the room, my guy. <laughs> but you love uh, You're a company, an, M dog. an MLS uh, club got involved, uh, and and they they tweeted. The, a the, couple did, but the best. The best one. 
The absolute best. <laughs> What's from the Portland Timbers? Our homies over at the Portland Timbers <laughs> shouts to Danny. Yo, we have two DP slots open. <laughs> so, I let me tell you something. Like, the word slot just took on an entirely <laughs> new definition. Yeah, so obviously they mean designated player slots. Yeah, they do. All right, <laughs> so, wink, wink. Shout out to you, Portland Timbers uh, social team. Everybody. Kayla, Kayla Danny. Nat printed it out. Yeah. Framed it. Danny deserves all the credit in the world. The fact that this was allowed to go out, look how far we've come in, in, in sort of was American... Was that one of your tweets uh, for Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> like, <how> <laughs> Just a picture of me pointing at the wall. Uh, so, uh, God, that's a great. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Ron. But look how far we've come in the... In like, how many years ago? Remember when we first talked about LA Galaxy putting out that shooting star yeah. meme and how they got in trouble by the league? And now, we're just out here willy-nilly making sexual <laughs> innuendos. It is a wild west. MLS like, yo, do you, baby? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Okay, we're looking for traffic. Yeah, nah. We don't care how we get it. We need engagement, <laughs> my guy. We need people to tap on that like button. So you do you. <laughs> so that, uh, yeah, we have to. Uh, we had to highlight that because that was absolutely highlight it. We should print it. Up. We should put that on our uh, jersey. Thing. You can't even see what this jersey says. Sponsored like, by <laughs> yeah. the, just the whole tweet. Just that tweet. <laughs> yo, if y'all put out a hoodie with that. tweet, tweet on it and we don't get one same here <laughs> all hell will be raised when we go to portland and we're gonna we're gonna rob some we're gonna be like that dude like for hogging dog we're gonna we're gonna tell you that we're a corporation to get you in and then we're gonna rob that hoodie exactly all right so the uh the other thing i wanted to talk about was uh uh the award for sports person of the year God uh, bless. given to uh the the queen herself uh megan rapino shouts to the president <laughs> sure. I was just like, wait, who are you talking to exactly? Megan Rapino, yo. <laughs> president just made, our president just made the sports person of the year. That's right. Look I at her with the sledgehammer, the chromed out sledgehammer. Hey. Why even the, why even the sledgehammer got to be fancy? <laughs> no, it's great because uh, you, obviously this made so many people upset. Right. Oh, that's my favorite part of it. Yeah, this is why this is why she was put on this uh, planet for. Yeah. To to make uh, you know conservative people angry. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> Great, love it. Uh, and 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 there were just a a, a a slew of people accusing Sports Illustrated for uh, for honoring her and awarding her this uh, this award, uh, saying it's part of the liberal agenda, uh, which is. I mean, if it's just like it's so. Delicious to yeah, hear. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me happy to know that they're upset. Like I remember when the first time, the not the this one, uh, the previous time the uh, women won the World Cup, uh, and they were having the parade in New York, and the whole thing was about how it was costing one point five million dollars mm -hmm. to do this parade. And I, for some reason, was an alternate side parking. My phone wasn't working, so I was listening to the radio, which you don't do, right? And uh, sports radio was on. It was just a bunch of what I can only imagine are guys that work at delis uh, <laughs> calling up and going, "Why are we doing this? Who cares?" <laughs> World Cup, it's a bunch of women, yada, yada, yada. And I was just getting angry until I realized, like, wait a minute. This is dope. <laughs> <laughs> These dummies are upset. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's. I mean, look, we we got to uh, interview Megan Rapino when we were in uh, in Charlotte, and, and wait, hold on. The sports person of the year knows who we are. The sports, yeah. I mean, that's that's insane. <laughs> It's pretty wild. George Mahalovich watches the show and the sports person of the year. That's wild. <laughs> if I find out that Verhagen listens, I mean, you know what I mean? I'm good. I mean, we really? can show these cameras up, my guy. <laughs> We've accomplished everything we yeah, need. Yo. All right, we'll be back with more right after this, everybody. All right, this is exciting. We are here. <laughs> we are joined by an, ex an esteemed guest. Finally, we got some good defenders on this <laughs> podcast that's, slash television that's show. That's right, because most of the time, you know, you go online, anytime anything ever happens, uh, a goal is scored in MLS, everybody's like, oh, MLS defending or whatever. Right. But th not this dude. Nah, MLS yo. defending means a, a very different thing to this man. Yes, he does. He'll run through a brick wall. He don't care. <laughs> he's, he's here for it. All right. <laughs> Two-time Defender of the Year award. That's right, of Minnesota United. Ladies and gentlemen, unless you drive, put your hands together for the one, the only, Ike Opara, everybody! Ike, what's up, man? <laughs> 
Hey, what's going on? Hey, say it louder for the guys in the back so they know. <laughs> Two yeah. times. No. <laughs> Damn, you didn't no, wear, no, you're not wearing up? your headgear right now. What's going on? I, I'm not. Hey, I'm take, giving a little bit of a break. I'm giving a little bit of a break. <laughs> you uh, think we soft? I need to, <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to let my hair breathe, you know? I got to let it breathe. That's right. Those long locks. You love them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ike, thanks so much uh, for joining us, man. And not only are you two-time defender of the year, obviously play for Minnesota United, play for uh, a couple other clubs in MLS as well. Couple other clubs. Couple other clubs. Some places you never heard of, but anyway, <laughs> Minnesota United. <laughs> but you are also. I want to start because you are also getting in the podcast game. All right, creeping into our business. All right, so I want to. I want to know uh, how <laughs> the, the podcast has been great. BSI the podcast. If you haven't uh, uh, listened to it, uh, check it out. It's, it's about uh, time they put some respect on that name and change it to bsi <laughs> correct uh how I like is that- you guys i like you guys <laughs> <laughs> how has that experience uh been for you and uh, have you've never really done a podcast before anything right I, that's my uh safe assumption how, how's that experience been for you so in, in fact check here i actually did have a little bit of a podcast towards the end of my time in kansas city okay with uh with the beat writer yeah sam mcdowell we did more of like uh more social wear uh, topics. Um, and then obviously I've switched over to, you know, be the podcast and that is, uh, completely different. Yeah. Um, you know, talking most of the stories fools in the league. That's yeah. what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At some point it's going to get us in trouble, but, uh, we're going to I'm surprised it hasn't. Uh, How have you not been fined by the league at this point? <laughs> you, you know, uh, I, I think a lot of the things that we talk about, you know, I think, we're saying what a lot of people already know. You know, I think a lot of people are scared to say the things yeah. that everyone thinks. And we're just kind of like, you know what? We're, we're going to give the the edge, the attitude, uh, the insight uh, that, you know, you know, fans you know, don't necessarily get to hear. And, uh, you know, I think just making it authentic and candid has been, you know, our biggest strength. Yeah, because you guys aren't really, you guys aren't messy. You guys, you, you just, uh, not messy the player, messy like, you know, making make, make a mess. <laughs> <Definitely not laughs> no, no, messing up your money. You're yeah. not like, you're I not like listen, that. sometimes yeah. they make it hot. Sometimes they make it <laughs> but real it's, hot. But it's, for, especially for MLS, there isn't, you know, we there's not many alternatives, right? There aren't many opportunities to hear players talk candidly because for the most part, as an MLS player, you can live your life pretty anonymously, right? They, depending on what city you right. play in, you'll be walking around, nobody is like, Oh, who's this tall dude? He's just tall, right? Nobody <laughs> thinks anything else of it. You got to walk into like a dick sporting goods to start heading the ball around for people to. <laughs> 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 you got to get egregious with it. <laughs> like, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to stay out of dick sporting goods. Don't really need to be in there. Um, <laughs> but to, to, to your point, um, yeah, I think there's several things that go into it. The um, You know, the first thing is, you know, a reporter could never ask you these questions. And as an athlete, you'd feel comfortable answering. And and for so many reasons. Um, and just having your peers, you know, asking you questions, kind of giving you the, the true locker room uh, feel. Um, it just gives everyone kind of that laid back uh, approach. And it, it, it's kind of like a safe space, even though I know we're broadcasting it out. Uh, but it's just like, you know, we're, we're in it together. And so we're never really trying to... Um, you know, have malintentions or ulterior motives, you yeah. know, as we go about it. Maybe, maybe my, my plea to fifths, my interrogation can yeah, be that's, a little that's tough. When it, gets times, hot. it gets hot there. <laughs> it little... can get hot. Yeah. But, but ideally it's to, to lead you into stories that, you know, f- you know, people have never heard. I mean, there've been times where I, I, I don't even know what's coming. And, and I think that's the beauty behind it is that we've let it be free flowing and we didn't really want constrictions um, yeah. when we started out and, uh, you know, we're, we're just evolving and, and going with it an episode at a time. I think when you, you guys have broken news too, like Carlos Vela being looked at by Barcelona yeah. was something not a lot of people knew. And somehow you four guys on Skype <laughs> <laughs> get, to, get, get to break that news. And I'm like, yo, Christian, why don't we ask him Vela some tough questions? <laughs> like you guys have hey, actually, my, it, yeah. You guys have actually kind of overlapped a little bit about what we try to do because when we started the podcast, we realized we we knew there was personalities behind some of these players, but general like sort of traditional media isn't getting that. So we as comedians, we can have a conversation like we're having with you now, which isn't very like you know cookie cutter. And you guys are doing the same right. thing, so it's actually we're like actually happy and proud to see you there because we feel like we somehow begat a little bit of that, just a little bit. It was it's our sh- your show is our show. We're- yeah, we're, we own your show now. I don't know if you understood what we're saying. 
<laughs> we want a I'm, cut of the money. <laughs> yeah. Well, if if you guys start helping us make money, then we're then we're all in. It's it's, it's funny too because Sal is like, we got to start making money now. This and that. And Benny are like, yo, chill, Sal. Like, we just do it to have fun. We didn't yo, even know where this thing was going. Sal, Sal is the Alexis of <laughs> yeah. this show. So well, it's a guy named Sal Zizzo. <laughs> you expect one guy to be like, how do we make money on this? <laughs> oh, right. So there's gonna be yeah. a big. <laughs> we'll lend you a thousand, but you owe me 150 every week until you pay me that money back. <laughs> Pretty much. But now, B now Benny's like, you know, he's trying to figure out his next movie. He's like, yo, we gotta start making money on this too. I'm like, yo, you guys are sellouts. I'm in here for the love. Of you're a doing, podcast. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fast you're forward a couple years when I'm out. Yeah. You're doing it when for I'm the art, job. Bro. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> luckily, when we started, we sold out ASAP. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right away, we was trying to get that cream. So <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> you, what I do like, you've had some, and this is the, the, the cool thing about players doing a, a show is that you can, all you got to do is text one of your homies and be like, yo, you want to hop on? Because uh, we have to go through loops of agents and yep. uh, we've had to go to players' moms. We had to go to a player's yep. mom and be like, because she was in the stands <laughs> and be like, yo, Get your play on our show. <laughs> yeah. You looked at you us like we nudged her in bed the next morning. No, <laughs> we saw her in the stands. <laughs> Can you say said player? His name? Oh, yeah, Jack Harrison. Jack yeah, Harrison. His mom was oh. in the supporter section. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we named yeah. the cheeseburger after him. We did everything we could to get this dude on. You ain't naming burgers after nobody. Do do you ever have to, like, because we have to kind of jump through the hoops, those hoops with teams and, and players. Like, obviously, you can just reach out to players, but do you ever get, like, agents being like, yo, stop reaching out to my guy, like, or whatever? Or is it, 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 do you have to deal with those, like, walls at all? No, but I will say the interesting thing is we will have people reach out to us wanting to be on okay. for whatever reason. And I think that that was the interesting thing was, um, you know, we obviously we, you know, we have friends and colleague, whatever we played against, played with, and we'd text them, get it sorted, go from there. But now we have guys that want to be on, who have played, some even coaching, and it's like what? Like we didn't envision that yeah. at all. Um, no, and, that and that's actually been pretty cool. Like. That's great. That's just a, it's a good sign though, about the of the future of the show. You guys got a real you got a real future in it. All right, uh, we'll be back with Ike with more after this. That's right, baby. We're back. And we, of course, got def two-time Defender of the Year, Ike Opara, on with us. Uh, Ike, you play now for uh, Minnesota United, uh, signed a new contract, had a hell of a year, um, but it didn't end the way you probably wanted. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, sort of what that was like, sort of that run-up to the playoffs uh, and, uh, you know, sort of some of the letdown from the playoffs? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously it was an accomplishment in, in, in a way, you know, Minnesota getting to the playoffs after the years that we had endured. Uh, luckily, I wasn't a part of those years. So, uh, You're best on them. <laughs> yeah, I did I'm big time. But um, you know, <laughs> but you know, I think in a way it was you know a positive step in the right direction. Obviously, I have high expect high expectations, and uh, you know, I'm just just happy with getting the playoffs. Just you know, based off of my career and, and what I've accomplished and been a part of teams, and so just getting to the first round was a letdown. But you know, I think that's still pretty cool to be able to say that we got to host a you know a, a home playoff game in that stadium that fan base who had been dying for you know success um you know the first two years and to be able to at least play a game in front of them and the energy that was going on in that stadium it was incredible and you had to in, in that playoff game you had to play against Zlatan Ibrahimovic uh I mean you you've talked about it a little bit on your show I mean but what, what's it like playing against this <laughs> I mean he's a larger than life human being right it's like there, I can imagine there is the the annoyance of like yo he talks all this garbage and then you play him and he's like yo he's mad big I understand why he talks all that garbage <laughs> <laughs> not, like, I just feel like two large shoulders and a ponytail are coming at me <laughs> uh, but going, yeah. up, going up against a, a dude like that what is uh, what, what is it like and, and how do you even prepare for something like that listen yeah if you show any sign of weakness with that guy he's going to try to eat you alive okay. so um, you know I, for me it's like okay I, I, I'm getting a little older to the point where I don't really want to get into the you know the trash talking anymore when I was younger I'd run my mouth a little bit and I would have gotten into it with them but now I just try to focus on you know, the game uh, yeah I know there's a little bit game within the game moments that happen mm -hmm. but you got to just prepare because, you know, end of the day, you know, his whole goal is to just score 
And as soon as he scores, he starts running his mouth. So really, it's, you just got to really, you know, play at another level, especially, you know, with how my game is. You know, I, I match up pretty well with them on aerial duels and whatnot. And so it was more so, you know, locking into those moments, those key moments when the, when really the Galaxy whips in a billion crosses. So, um, you know, when those moments are coming into the game, you know, having awareness where he is. Yeah, and I'm curious how uh, you, you were the two-time defender of the year, right? So how how do you become the defender of the year, right? Because when I when I look at Aikopara, I'm like, this dude was one of the nicest guys I've ever met, right? You don't even, you think of a defender of the year being like this beast, angry human being that that really <laughs> <laughs> mushes everybody out of the way, but you're like a, a cerebral dude, right? You uh, you approach oh. the game I, I think a little bit differently than than just being a big like you know English. Yeah, but he, I mean, you're England, his own English question. bruiser. He becomes an asshole during the 90s. <laughs> in the 90s, right? That's how you do it, right? Uh, I, 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 uh, 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 not necessarily. Said, hold on, no. I think he's remixing his own answer. <laughs> exactly. No, I would say with Christian there, uh, I'm more cerebral. I mean, I don't. I can do all those things, right? I can. I can. I could be the asshole. I could be tough. But like, like, at the end of the day, I've just learned. You know, being on the Peter Vermees and sporting Kansas City was the biggest development for my career and being able to just read the game, being cerebral, understanding, you know, what's going on for 90 minutes with my position, other positions, thinking through the game uh, in so many ways. I mean, I'm, at the end of the game, I'm way more exhausted mentally than physically at this point. And, okay. and that's, and that's a good thing, you know? So, um, you know, I think that's what I've strived to do over the last handful of years. When, uh, whenever a goal gets put in and, and you got Vito Minone or something, every time they put the camera on the goalkeeper, he's usually yelling and usually yelling at the center back, <laughs> right? Like, it's never the goalkeeper's <laughs> fault, right? <laughs> no, no goalkeeper will answer this, but what are they saying to you? Uh, you know, first of all, there's no glory for defenders. Let's just be clear. Like, yeah. Th there could be a goal scored and that play could have been you know put out. 20 passes in advance like th th there were several things that could have happened <laughs> but that being said uh when a goalie starts losing it half the time i just don't even listen because <laughs> it's like what, 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 like what am i gonna say now like <laughs> like if it's if it's a clear mistake on the defender then there's nothing really to be said it's like yeah i know that i i shorted the back pass like yeah i get it but like other than that it's like you know you have to try to dissect really a whole breakdown of a play and you don't have enough time to do that. And so it's more so about the, the, the nonverbal look of it. Okay. Than, uh, yeah. Yeah. It looks at it all. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and again, like there's something that can be said that's worthwhile, but okay. most of the time it's they're just frustrated and, that's the way of showing it. Okay. He's like, you let it go. And you're like, I know I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I saw what you saw. Yeah. My man's just running right. around me celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And you can't do anything about it now. <laughs> you ever think about tripping one of those guys when they're running around celebrating? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, just no. a nice slide tackle two foot him during the celebration. No. Might be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, I think the one that gets me the most is when you've had a forward in your back pocket for literally 89 minutes yeah. and the 90th minute or whatever, he scores a goal and he runs around acting like he had the best game in the world. Yeah. And you're just like, <laughs> really? Fam? Literally you had right, like <laughs> you didn't have anything all game and you looked as a hero and yeah. it's like, and then you look, you look at like you let it in and yeah, you're yeah. the bad guy. And it's like, and, and so that's the that's the frustrating part. Like, yeah, then I don't want to two foot somebody. But. <laughs> you do make that point about like, like defenders don't get any glory, and I and I would even go further than that. And I think M MLS defenders get even sort of less uh, uh, recognition and acknowledgement um, because just in the way the the teams are set up, right? It seems like the defenders are the last thought. Like, let's put all our money up front, and then we'll, we'll figure it out when it comes to uh, defenders. Uh, but how do you uh, kind of uh, you know, what is your effort to kind of stake that claim and be like, yo, let's get, give some the, the American defender some love and some respect and, and maybe a little bit of higher praise, even amongst like in the international market. Right. Yeah. If you look at it, you know, just based off of, you know, the finalists and the of the years uh, over the last, I don't know, six, seven years, 
fifty percent or more are typically Americans, and and that says something. You know, I think that that's the frustrating thing is that you know, especially when dealing with contracts in this league and whatnot, that the Americans are looked are overvalued or over or sorry, overlooked, undervalued. Uh, in so many ways, and, and and that's you know the the disrespect uh, that a lot of Americans, especially defenders, feel is that you know you you see teams now bringing in some more European defend, defenders, and whether that means they're better or not, that's a huge argument for discussion. Yeah, <laughs> um, and in uh, in the in the you know they're cashing out in a way, and so you know American defenders especially want to get involved. Americans in general want to get involved in that. But the defenders is, you know, the 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 last looked at kind of thing. And so uh, it's frustrating, you know, when you just look at, you know, what we have been able to do uh, in terms of MLS and, you know, trying to, you know, break that stigma uh, as a whole. All right. Yeah, we got a little more with Ike when we get back. Welcome back. We are here with uh, Ike Opara of Minnesota United, and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little game. Oh yeah, with Ike because uh, one we invented ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Ike, uh, he is he is the uh, the curator the, of this of this particular segment, right? Uh, on his show on BSI. The well, podcast. well, we named ours a little differently. Yes, because he he does plead the fifth. Right. Uh, where he asks players uh, about, you know, he asks them questions. Five like, difficult questions. Yes. Right. And, and, but we're going to do plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. <laughs> the fifth. Okay. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> we're going to ask you five questions. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little, that might, you know, be a little bit difficult to answer. We're here to ruin contracts. <laughs> exactly. Ruin his money. That's right. right. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So first. Ike, we have to ask. Uh, for the please answer as honestly as you can, or or don't answer at all. The worst part about playing for Minnesota United, go for it. Oh <laughs> gosh, uh, you got, you, <laughs> hey, you guys, I got copyrights on the interrogation. <laughs> at, at no, Park. that's why we renamed it. Fifth, fifth, <laughs> it's different. Fifth. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 Dave Chappelle, huh? Yeah. All right, um, and also, it's not called plead. It's plea <laughs> the fifth. <laughs> we like our uncles um, would say. Oh, yeah, plead the fifth. <laughs> okay. Plead the fifth. All right. Worst part about playing for Minnesota United. Or um, in Minnesota. Or Minnesota, yeah. Just the worst part about playing in Minnesota. The obvious question, or the obvious answer is the cold. Cold okay. is cold as hell. Um, Minnesota. I mean, it's it, and honestly, I don't mind the cold that much. It's just we're we're just indoors for like three months to start the season, and that's tough. Okay, yeah. like training on turf indoors uh, can be uh, can be a drag. Switching that to the outside is a little bit difficult. Uh, it can be. It, it can be for sure. But you know, I just you know, playing. I don't mind playing games on turf really, uh, but training on turf every day can be. Uh, yeah, it's not ideal. Okay. All right, I got one for you. What is the biggest complaint you would have about having to play for Peter Vermees? <laughs> the biggest complaint? <laughs> I mean, we know he's a tough dude. He's a tough coach to play for. You got to have something. He's very authoritative. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or maybe uh, it's just that, that he, he like, when you answer me. those interview questions, you're like, I just oh, worked. Oh, yeah, what he said? What? That's that's that he that traded me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That is an official complaint. <laughs> okay, you put that in the complaint box. Yeah, yeah. yeah Why that's... is this a shredder? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this? Uh, the dumbest comment you've ever heard w uh, while playing with your head guard. Um, not from a player, but like I'll have a fan say some nonsense, like, uh, God, I, like something on the lines of, like. That's that's stupid head like stupid headband or like like you're soft or or something like that. Okay. And I'm like what? Uh, because huh? you don't want to you don't want to get concussions. Yeah. You're, you're, why you are right. such a punk, dog? Yo, dog. Why right. you want to remember your name when you're 50, my guy? Right, exactly. Like and I'm like, so you want me to like speak mush and yeah. you know be able to like roll over and forget right. where I live and my social Wake security up number? Your like, wife is an intruder every morning. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, I just, oh yeah, I wish I could slap you with this headgear kind of thing, but dude, you should. I just keep uh, up with yeah. 
Next question we have. This is the fourth out of the five. We have one DP defender that you're better than and deserve more money than. (laughs) (laughs) Yes! How does it feel to be on that side of this? (laughs) Are you going to answer or plead the fifth? (laughs) Please be a player on your team. <laughs> <laughs> you have I a wanna name. I want to answer them all. No, you don't, oh, you don't I have, have to. a name. I, I want, well, <laughs> let's go to question five before I come back. <laughs> okay. Uh, Is this I, want, I, I, want to, I want to answer this one, but I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. You, you uh, mull it over. All right. Uh, why have you been uh, so neglected by the U.S. men's national team? You only got one cap. Uh, can you explain that? So it's funny that you say this because I almost tweeted the other day. I just forgot to hit the send button <laughs> that I was gonna announce <laughs> that I was gonna announce my international retirement via Twitter. Okay. Um, and, and as a joke, but like kind of that seriousness because like at this point, I don't know. At this point, I don't care. Um, you know, it is what it is. I've been overlooked. I, sure, health was it. You know, a while ago, but now over the last handful of years, you know, there's kind of no excuse. Uh, and, um, let me backtrack. Actually, I, I understand it. Because, you know, they didn't qualify for the World Cup and then the youth movement came in and yada, yada, yada. But now that they're, you know, they're starting to get into some serious games, you start to see some, you know, the youth, but you start to see experience as well. Some older guys and you're like, you know, that's kind of weird. But, you know, I think really I don't really care anymore at this time. It's, you know, if I get the call, great. If I don't, I'm going to carry on living my life. Okay, that's fair. All right. All right. So, so uh, we just have one. That last one. The other one. One sort of just dangling <laughs> out there. I mean, it's on, it is. It's on you. I don't, you don't have to, but I mean, whatever. I mean, I can't believe you wouldn't do this when you expect other players to do it. But not go ahead. For them to remind the audience, no- one DP defender <laughs> that you're better than and deserve more money than. Man. Um... <laughs> I've got like six names, but I'm like, I can't do it. Okay, that's, do it. that's fine. All I right, want right. to do it, but all I can't good, do all it. Good. All right, Kofara, I'm thank you so much. Myself. How about this? When we get off air, you tell us one, and we'll tell our Gully Squad members, which is like, <laughs> those are our paid subscribers, that- just the one, and we'll make sure they keep it secret. Sound good? <laughs> that's putting a all lot right, of trust it, in a it. lot of people. All right, Kofara, thank you so much for joining us, man. We appreciate you. Uh, make sure everyone uh, tune in to BSI, the podcast. It's a great podcast. That Subscribe. Been- Leave a five-star review. Say this is almost as good as cool again. <laughs> that's, that's all you got to do. Refer, refer, refer the cool again, you'll get a gift card from us. All oh, right? look at that. Hey. <laughs> uh, Ike Bar, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, we'll be right back, guys. All right, what a wow. fun, incredibly fun interview. Wow. <laughs> Ike Parra is the man. You know, from now on, what we need to do is when, when we interview someone, we got to make sure that they start a podcast a couple months before exactly. just to get them warmed up a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> get the juices flowing. Pretty much. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, and uh, thanks again to, uh, to Ike. That was incredible. So, so awesome. And uh, on Thursday, make sure you uh, tune in because we we're going to be joined by Ivis Galarsup of SBI Soccer. Uh, great dude. We, we hung out with in Germany. So That's we got, right. We got a lot of stories. No, you heard that correctly. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, you guys are the best. Make sure you follow at Soccer Cooligans, at Fubo Sports, and follow the YouTube channel of uh, Fubo Sports Network, guys. My name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerreros. Together, what are we? The The Cooligans! Cooligans!